Hi guys, thank you for coming to Speech and the Language Technologies Meetup Group. This is our weekly week, uh, paper reading session. Uh, today, I'm going to present a uh, paper wave LM, large scale self supervised pre training for full stack speech processing to you. And uh, this paper is by uh, Chen San Yuan. Wang Chen Yi, Chen Jing Yang, Wu Yu, and their colleagues. I think there are many from Microsoft. Um, for those of you who are interested or not uh, know about the SSL, you can definitely search the SSL in our uh, YouTube channel. The Ola Wave YouTube channel. Uh, I have a one-hour uh, paper reading session about Google's big SSL paper. Uh, I think it's a very very good paper. Uh, I would definitely say uh, that paper is one of the best paper that is published or, or archived in 2021. Definitely a worth reading. Uh, paper. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, um, this author, I don't know why they come up with, with the name of Wave Adam uh, because I read the paper, it seems that they're not doing the language modeling, uh, they're still doing the end to end speech recognition. Um, I think the purpose is to solve the full stack downstreaming tasks, um, which is uh, uh, also lots of people doing. Okay, uh, and I think that the author have done a very good task job in introducing the backgrounds, uh, listing the drawbacks of the current pre models, like the wave feedback. Hubert, uh, W2V, Bird. These two picture models are unsatisfactory for multi speaker tasks. Well, I think it, it kind of makes sense. I read a uh, Microsoft paper on, on uh, speaker awareness training, SAT staff. They mentioned that, okay, uh, because this pre trained model, they're all focusing on the content-based loss okay they're trying to say i i want to predict the the quantized sample of the speech right uh, get, suppose i mask this can i recover the, the master content um you can see this is probably the best for speech recognition um but um, people may ask, uh, do these model or embeddings learn that the speaker um, information, language information, or the speech mixed um, information? It's unknown, okay? Especially for the task, uh, speaker diarization diarization, who spoke when, speech separation tasks. Uh, it's a question mark for um, all the people who are using these uh, pre-trained models. Okay, and the second issue they also said it's those pre-trained model uh, they are heavily rely on high quality and large quantity of unlabeled audios. Um, I I personally think that. Um, this is not a big issue because uh, if you look at the YouTube data, okay, you got almost uh, unlimited amount of uh, audio. Uh, people are just recording, uploading every day. Um, and that they also trust, uh, said they have a solution to this. Um, I think they also, they, they, they want to mention that this is a data bias because um, current uh, data, they are either from uh, audio books or uh, Congress speech 
they're, they're heavily limited to certain domain, okay? Um, they're, they're saying they're getting data from different resources. Um, but, but I would say it's not a big issue, right? And you always can download YouTube data uh, from different topics um, or getting the podcasts of different topics. But I think that the first uh, issue the author addressed is very important. Um, it's the what the picture model is learning. And uh, I think uh, in this paper, the, the author tried to focus on um, 14 subtasks, um, including the speaker verification, speech separation, speaker diarization speaker speech recognition. I have to say, I personally uh, am more interested in the speech recognition other than other topics. Um, so I would just uh, focus on the speech recognition. Um, and, and to be honest, you know, um, I think people have not devoted, uh, researchers have not devoted enough amount of effort into non-speech recognition uh, tasks. So I would say those baselines, uh, those current systems, they're not fairly well tuned, okay? So it's hard to tell which one is better, which one is not. Well, that's my personal thought. Okay, um, they have done a good job in explaining the related works and also they explain what is, does the Hilbert do? Okay, my understanding, my understanding uh, about Hilbert is a, uh, um, a Hilbert doesn't work as good as a wave two back. So it's gradually getting obsolete, I think. Um, you, you, you want to definitely use the wave two back 2.0, um, not Hubert. Um, it's the, 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 the experimental result always says, okay, the Hubert is better. Uh, wave two back, their model structure. Um, here, I think the first important thing or novel thing they employ or incorporate into their model on top of the Hubert is that they use the the gated relative positional uh, position bias, GRPB, okay. Uh, and then you can see all it does is to add a additional term in, in equation three. Um, um, over here is a bias term and how the bias is calculated. I will leave it to you guys, okay. Um, and the second contribution they did was the uh, the utterance mixing. I think I have uh, met uh, this work at uh, their their another paper from Microsoft. It's speaker awareness training or speaker aware training SAT stuff. Um, basically, what this does is that. Uh, given a batch of uh, utterances uh, and given the target or uh, primary utterance, utterances, uh, you want to find a secondary utterances, utterance and uh, find a, a, a location and find a, a mixing ratio. Just want to add uh, the secondary uh, waveform wave onto the the primary utterance waveform, you know, just overlap the, the speech. In, in this case, you 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 generate some mixed speech or mixed mixed utterance, or corrupted utterance, whatever you call it, and uh, uh, this this um, has proved by the Microsoft researchers that this can help uh, to get better speech recognition and other non -recogni speech recognition task accuracy. Okay, address mixing uh, explained. Experiment pre training setup. I think I will skip this. Basically, I think they, they got this 94K uh, large amount of data, which is available to all of us actually. Uh, you can download them, it's an open data set. Um,
Yeah, then they talk about the the evaluations. I I would think I would uh, not to go too much up into this, and you can see that uh, their wave LM base on the Libre speech nine hundred sixty hours. Um, but remember, they're not just using the Libre speech data. Okay. Um, if I were not wrong. Wait a second. I, I think I think um, when they say we feel the LM base, they mean they only use the libre speech data. They didn't use other data, and then when they come to the wave to the LM base plus. They use the mixed uh, 94k hours of speech. Uh, some of the speech are not transcribed, so they use some unsupervised uh, learning over there. Uh, and you can see that uh, base plus is better than base for sure. And uh, for the base. If you take uh, the utterance mixing away from it, uh, the result gets significantly worse, I would say, especially for speaker verification tasks, um, but not too much to the content-based task. You see, content-based task is fine, especially the ASR is OK, I would say. Um, to semantics. I'm not very interested in semantics. Um, without structural modification, uh, this is about their um, is that the name. Uh, this is about their gated relative positional bias they introduced. This is called structural change. I think this one is fairly useful for all the scenarios, I think. Um, I don't know what is QBE, and this one helps a lot. Mm. Seems it's working. Uh, and also, they finally they come up with the WebLM um, LM large. Um, they have a way bigger model, and they also said, okay. Um, When you have a lot of data, you definitely want to go bigger, uh, bigger model, because the bigger model gives you bigger capacity, um, which gives you better uh, performance. Okay. And they say, this is definitely better than Hubert and WebQWAC 2.0. And you can see that uh, uh, in, in, in their comparison, uh, I think uh, WebQWAC consistently is better than Hubert. See, but what is it consistently? Um, but sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. Um, I, um, it's roughly the same, I think. Okay. Um, yeah. So when you have a small amount of data, say a thousand or two thousand hours of data. You, you you definitely don't want to go with the big big model because also said it's insufficient remember the word insufficient to fill the capacity of the base model it's very easy to understand okay and they did some analysis i will skip this and the speaker verification uh discussion i will skip that uh speaker diarization i'm not interested and skip that um Okay, I think I will stop here. Um, any questions? Okay, no questions. Um,